Here's a patch for the Q148 VCA++, and in this patch I'm going to use the LFO++ to bounce the panning from left to right. So we're going to start out with our audio from a synth patch, and that goes here into the VCA section. And we're going to control the VCA with an envelope generator, just like in a standard synthesizer patch. So we have the VCA up here that's going to control the amplitude, and then in the panning section, we're going to control that with the LFO. And the LFO is going to have a sine wave that goes into the panning section and bounces us from left to right. And we're going to use both of our left and right outputs. So we have our audio in and we have our control voltage from our envelope generator. And remember when the control voltage is inserted, then the knob becomes an attenuator for the control voltage. And we want that almost completely up. Now, Here's our LFO output, and we're going to select a sine wave, which is the triangle plus the curver, and we're going to have a bipolar uh, signal, so that's the plus there. And we're going to take this output of the LFO, and we're going to go into the control voltage on the panning, on the panning section. Here's our speed for our LFO. We can see that with the LED. Now here's our outputs, left and right. So what we have here is we have the LFO driving the panning section, and we don't have any audio yet because we haven't fired an envelope generator from uh, the keyboard, but I'm going to do that right here. Now you can hear the LFO is panning from left to right, and we have the panning all the way up to the top. The same with the VCA section. When you plug a control voltage into the panning section, the knob becomes an attenuator for the control voltage. And since we want that to have full effect, we turn that completely clockwise. Now, we're selecting the bipolar input here instead of unipolar, and the reason for that is we want zero volts to be center. And in the bipolar mode, zero volts is the center position and minus 5 volts is the left, and plus 5 volts is panning to the right. And that's exactly what our LFO++ will give us when we're in a bipolar mode here. So it's, what's going to happen is it's going to pan back and forth, and if you set the envelope generator on the LFO++ to taper and decay down to zero, then you'll land in the center. That'll be zero volts, which will be uh, the center panning position, so you get both left and right. So what's going to happen when I press a key is I'm going to turn on the VCA and the LFO is just free flowing left and right. Now we can change that. We can actually gate the LFO++ with the gate of our keyboard and that will fire the internal envelope generator on the LFO++. And what I want that to do is I want to use the internal envelope generator to control the amplitude of the LFO++. So I'm going to turn the amplitude down to zero, and I'm going to let the envelope generator turn that on. And so what's going to happen is when I press a key, the LFO is going to give me an LFO, but it's going to decay down to zero. In other words, it's going to decay down to zero, which means center on the panning. So at first, the panning is going to be very wide left and right, and as it decays, based on this envelope generator, it's going to decay to, ze to zero, to the center position. I'm going to plug my headphones in so I can hear this. So right when I press a key, you're going to get wide panning, but it's going to decay down to zero. Now we can also use the internal envelope generator on the LFO++ to control our speed so that our speed also decays.